say, if you take away anything from my show, please uh, don't text and drive, okay? Uh, uh, don't, don't text and drive. I know we're all attached to our phones. We love our phones. We can't live without our phones. I personally have lost my phone while I was speaking on it. Have you done that? You're just like, oh, my God. oh, there, okay, good. You ever do that? You ever take a shit and realize you don't have your phone and you're just like, oh, oh, oh God, I got my phone. <laughs> you have, man. I know you have. We, we are attached to our phones to the extent that we cannot defecate without our phones, man. <laughs> they have become a part of our lives. But I just want to tell you, for God's sakes, if, if, you, if you don't take anything away from the show, please don't text and drive. A couple of months back, I was in my house, I was just watching TV, all of a sudden I hear it, boom, you know, and you know that sound, you know what it is. It's a horrible car accident, and I went out looking for it right around the corner from my house. Some kids had been texting and driving. They hit a phone pole and then took out a transformer, and the phone pole damn near cut that car in half. It killed two kids. Two other kids were trapped in the wreckage, and they were trying to get them out with the jaws of life, and I got there, and I was got there almost as the first responders were there, and, and I said to one of the first responders, I said, is, uh, do you have any idea at all when they're going to get the power turned back on? Because uh, <laughs> you know, I, I was right in the middle of an episode of Ted Lasso, and uh, uh, I, I had some Ben and Jerry's in the freezer, and you know, my phone was at 3%, and I was just like, you know, please, so please don't, don't text and drive, because honest to God, uh, you just, you never know who you're going to inconvenience. Uh, so, 